Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video will gonna discuss how to implement logging filter in Joule API Gateway. Okay, so last video we have covered how to set up a Joule API Gateway and uh, why we required a API Gateway. Okay, so let's see in today's uh, video how we can implement a logging filter in Zool API Gateway. Okay, so we do have uh, filters provided by <coughs> sorry Zool API Gateway, and we can implement those filters. Okay, so let me implement here one filter that is logging filter, so that you will get an idea. So let me create a class Zool Custom FILT yeah, jewel custom filter and we need to extend extends it from Zool filter and here we need to override some methods and we need to implement let's uh, go by one on one and one those methods and we'll see first should filter do we want to apply this filter or not yes we want let's hit and true and next run the actual logic we should kept it here whatever the logic you want to execute currently we will log some of that request to here so actual logic we need to implement here and here filter type so what about this filter what is this filter type so this is pre you want to execute this filter before before actual request processing that is pre post means after request processing if you want to do anything and, and another one is error if some error occurred so if you want to execute that time this filter Okay, for timing we'll take as a pre we'll apply this filter before actual request processing. Okay. And filter order if you have multiple filter like logging filter or security filter or rate limiter filter. So you need to have define what what are those orders. For timing, let me put as a one. Okay, so here I will implement that logging part okay so so for that one let's define a logger here logger logger equal to logger factory sorry I lost it my bad logger factory dot get logger of this dot get class okay control set o will take sl4j sl4j okay so we have taken sl4j logger and so here we'll take request context sorry not request context yes request context request you and request context request context dot uh, get current context dot get request so we'll take the HTTP servlet request. Let me hold this variable to somewhere. HTTP servlet request. Okay. Request request. IQ is equal to. Okay. And here we'll apply this logger logger dot info and 
here request uri sorry not logger this request uri this way also we can do here request dot get Start get get request URL get request URI good here we need to provide a comma good so here what I have done I have logged that information request URI I am logging that request URI okay so now we have implemented a, a Zool custom logging filter and we need to annotate at the red component otherwise spring will not identify this class and uh, this filter we cannot apply this filter will not be applied okay so now we have done our uh, filtering part now let's deploy this Zool API gateway let me relaunch Zool API gateway Zool API gateway okay yeah Zool API gateway started now we'll gonna see whenever we'll call from one microservices to another microservices this filter should be executed okay so how this filter should be executed okay so that thing again we need to configure where we'll do this one so in our ticket booking service if you'll see in payment proxy service so currently we are telling thing client this is that payment service name so this is the payment service name but here instead of this payment service name or the uh, payment service application name here we need to pass Zool API gateway application name okay this name Zool hyphen API gateway server this name we should pass okay so let me comment out this thing client here and we'll add one so what is that in Zool API we have defined a name right so this name jewel api gateway server this name will keep it there in the payment proxy server sorry not server payment proxy instead of this directly payment service we'll paste it here so now we'll connect to zool api gateway server to fetch those urls and Another change will happen here from this dual API gateway as we are doing here in the post mapping in that URL we need to provide that application name of that service which service we want okay so first the thing client will connect to Zool API gateway server from this Zool API gateway server it will connect to our appropriate service okay so this is that minimal change uh, we required so i have done that part hope you got it so in thing client we need to provide zool api gateway that uh, application name 
and in post mapping whatever the URLs the existing URLs you need to apply that application name here okay hope you got it application name means which application or which uh, which microservice you want to connect that microservice name if you'll see we want to con connect payment service so here payment service then application name we are putting it here okay hope you got it now let's run this ticket booking service so here you will see already i am running service registry or a eureka server config server and ticket booking service it's stopped right so let's rerun that on ticket booking service okay then then we'll see the entire flow lunch the ticket booking service okay we lunch okay so just see ticket booking service it's relaunching now let me see all apply payment service system so everything is up and running okay if you'll see here ticket booking service so it's running started okay let's go to this one and we'll see payment service ticket booking service to so we'll get to a server up and running all are up and running now we'll hit our ticket booking service okay so if you'll see this is the ticket booking service url so book ticket feizn controller if you'll go book ticket feizn with fin client we are calling here okay now let's run that one and we'll we'll able to see in payment sorry in we'll able to see in zool api gateway in zool api gateway we'll we'll be able to see the request url will be uh, request uri will be logged okay so uh, let's go to this uh, Zool API gateway and let me clear uh, everything so that while hitting the request we'll be able to see okay let's hit it okay so it's, it's showing some timeout exception because it will take some time to register internally all those applications and all so let's wait for some time okay so let me hit again just see we are getting 200 okay response now let's go to our zool api gateway this is zool api gateway and if you'll see here request uri request uri payment hyphen service hyphen sorry payment hyphen service slash pay okay so hope you got it that our zool logging filter is working perfectly we can implement various uh, things by uh, using these filters uh, for a particular request URI for a particular uh, if you are for a particular uh, microservices if you want to do anything you can specific you can implement specific uh, filter for that one or lot of things we can uh, develop here like this using those filters okay so hope this video is helpful to you people and please have your valuable comments in the comment section Really, I will appreciate it.
and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel as well okay thank you for watching